Hi class, my name is Shamia Gray and I'm doing my presentation on a species called G's Golden Langer. And my project is called A Golden Endangerment. Hope you guys enjoy. The golden linger can be found in western Hassam, India, and in the foothills of the Black Mountains of Bhutan. It is considered a sacred species by many Himalayan people. The golden linger actually has quite an interesting history of its discovery. It was in 1838 in the early 1900s that many observers forest rangers, and hunters began seeing a new species in Citra Bhutan. It was described by many as a cream-colored langur. However, it wasn't until 1953 that a naturalist and tea planter by the name of EPG and his team went on an expedition to try and identify this new species. Many people weren't able to take pictures or have videos, so it wasn't until EPG's expedition where he was able to capture um, a lot of these lingers in their habitat, and he was able to report his findings to the Zoological Society of London. And this is kind of how the golden linger was officially discovered and named after EPG. The golden langur is part of the old world monkey family. The male adult langur's coats are typically cream to a golden color. Their chest hairs are darker than the rest of their coats and it is often a rust color. Their faces are black and hairless except for a pale beard. The males are typically larger than the females, and their tails are longer in length as well. The female langurs have a lighter coat than the males, and they are silvery white to a light cream. And the juvenile langurs are almost mostly pure white in color. They have long limbs, and slim fingers with a long tail. Their tails usually measure between 50 centimeters or 19.69 inches. In the winter and summer seasons, their coats typically change. The winter seasons, they are more lighter in color, and in the summer seasons, they tend to be bronze. The langurs in the south are more uniform in color than those in the northern regions. The golden langurs' natural habitat is a moist evergreen and tropical forest, as well as the savannas. They can be found in wildlife reserves in India and Bhutan. These langurs like to live in the canopies of high trees and they rarely come to the ground. They are arboreal creatures and use their long tails to help balance when they leap across the trees. They can also move quadrupedally when they are trying to go longer distances and balance on larger tree branches. The golden langurs are diona creatures and prefer to look for food in the early mornings and afternoon. They generally live in groups of eight, but sometimes can live up to a group of 50 with several females to the male ratio. Sometimes the female lingers can be 2.3 times more for every male linger in their group. Some more interesting facts about the G's golden langurs are that their diets are herbivores, frugivores, and folivores, meaning 
They like to eat ripe or unripe fruits, seeds, buds, flowers, and their favorite thing to eat are young leaves. The males are sexually dysmorphic and the reproduction are the females can have children year round. They have a general gestation birth of about six months and the young are cared for by the mother or the other women in their group. The golden langers are very vocal communicators. They make a loud whooping noise to communicate between the males. They also have visual cues as well. The social grooming is very important to their group activities because it helps to strengthen the bond between the lingers that are in that specific group. You may be asking yourself, so why is the golden linger becoming an endangered species? In 1976, the golden langurs were enlisted on the IUCN red list as an endangered species. And over the past 30 years, the population has declined over 30%. In 2003, they were listed as critically endangered. This species is becoming endangered due to habitat loss because of deforestation. Their habitat has been used for firewood, charcoal reproduction, and rubber plantations. They have a high juvenile mortality rate because there is not much food left in their habitat, and the adults have also been electrocuted and hit by cars leaving the forest or savannas in search of food. These golden langurs have been used and sold as exotic pets and the number of lingers continues to decrease each year. Currently, there are only 4,000 left in Bhutan and 1,500 in India. What conservation efforts have been made to help protect the life of G's golden lingers? Conservation began in 1998, where committees were set up to get the community involved in the conservation effort. They have tried to help replant and rebuild the forest. They've planted fruit and nut trees so that it would decrease the death of the langurs hit by cars. The Golden Langur Conservation Project has had some success in mitigating illegal lodging and in 1972, the Golden Langers were named in the Indiana Wildlife Protection Act. Most of the land in Bhutan has been set up as a wildlife preservation and national parks to help protect them. Royal Manas National Park and Trum Singla Wildlife Sanctuary are just a few of the places in Bhutan. In India, there are two wildlife sanctuaries set up as well to help protect the lingers. One thing is for sure is that while some effort has been made to help conserve the lives of G. Golden lingers, there's much more help needed.